Hi, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea, and it's reading. For those of you in separation and not in communication with your person right now, we're going to find out how do they feel about you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 20th of May, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 4.37 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me. For Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius in separation right now, how does the person feel about them? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Hmm. Three swords at the bottom of the deck. They're very sad, obviously, three of swords. Very sad, perhaps could have been crying, two cups in reverse. Definitely an indication of a separation. So they feel up and down, right? If you look at the two pentacles, up, down, up, down. It's like juggling. When you juggle, it's up and down, up and down. So your feelings for you may be right now very tumultuous or that certain days they feel all right and then certain days they don't feel that okay right two of wands here is in one first they could also be juggling with the thought of you know was this a mistake did i make the right choice did i do something wrong or did you make the right choice or if you were the one who did something wrong i think they're just weighing the pros and cons and you know, trying to see what actually went wrong. Could it be their fault? Could it be your fault? Or what's going on, right? So a lot of analyzing. That's what I'm seeing here. We've got two swords here as well. Two cards that indicate um, indecision. So they could be feeling indecisive and unsure how to feel about the separation. How, they, how do they feel about you, right? Um, whether both of you should have this judgment call whether both of you should have should hash things out whether both of you should see each other again and reconcile they're not sure whether this is a good idea right because again just indecisive right page of wands here's the one first most likely you're not talking to this person right now and if you are still talking to your person separation right now they feel like you're being like judgmental Mm, and you, you're not, you're not as passionate or as nice as you used to be. I mean, obviously, but not all. Of, I don't know. Sometimes, even if I've broken up with someone, I'll still be nice. But in this case, they feel like you totally shut them out, or that the way you spoke to them was really cold. It's not the same anymore, and they may feel like you were very judgmental, or that you didn't judge the situation correctly could also be them wondering if they judge the situation correctly or I, I see them just unsure and questioning questioning the reason why both of you are separated questioning your actions questioning your actions it goes both ways because if you look at two panels two swords it goes both ways right up and down left and right so maybe they're looking at all ang all angles in regards to this connection and the reason that both of you have gotten separated, okay? Page of Swords here is the love verse. So they could be keeping tabs on you, even if both of you are not speaking with each other right now. Some of you, you may have blocked them or they may have blocked you. Um, or both of you may have blocked each other. But the Page of Swords in verse, even though there is no communication, most likely... Most likely there's no communication. Um... They're, they're still interest, interested to know what's going on with your life with the Ace of Wands here. They feel like they want to know if you've started a new relationship, are you in love with someone, if you're, if you're already in a relationship and they know it, they may wonder if it could turn into something more with the Empress. Like trying to see if it's going to be long lasting, unless you're completely single, they could be feeling or wondering 
if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or are you married but you know ace of wands can indicate them still having passion for you okay in some way shape or form they may be feeling as though you are the empress could be recalling a lot of things from the past where you've shown this person a lot of worth and value or things that you've brought to the table right but they're sad for your thoughts ever since the separation let's see more yeah Seven of Swords can indicate sneakiness, selfishness, strategy. They feel, either they feel like you haven't been completely honest with them about something. Like they suspect, they could also suspect that there's, there, there was something more to the separation. Um, they don't know for sure. Like as though, you know, it's like it's not 100%. They're not sure. They're suspecting something, like as though you're hiding something, um, that you you haven't been completely honest with them about something. Possibly something that may have caused the separation here for one seven first. But seven of swords could also be this person, you know, sneakily with page of swords in reverse as well, like feeling as though perhaps they could sneak their way back into your life. That's for some of you. And then we've got Inada Wands. This is you. Either they're blaming it on you or that they feel like you're blaming blaming it on them. Blaming the separation on them. Four Wands and one first. Yeah, they, they're sad. Both of you are not together anymore. Um, the foundation has been rocked. And the Queen of Cups here at Mobverse, they're sad because they think you don't love them. You don't love them anymore. You don't care about them anymore. The Queen of Cups at Mobverse, yeah, it's also, you know, a sad queen. So they're overwhelmed by their feelings. I do sense them crying a lot ever since the separation. Because it feels like with the Nada ones and Ace of Wands, that's because they still have feelings for you. They still are passionate about you. They still desire you in some way, shape, or form, okay? They also could feel like, could be feeling as though you're running away from something. Running away from telling them the truth, reason why thin, things, didn't, things didn't break, um, things didn't work out. I was going to say break out, work out. Or you could go vice versa, okay? Let's see more. Yeah, Ten of Swords and verse. Really, really sad, really down, but they feel like they would like to release these pain wanting to reconcile fix things but they don't know how they constantly think about you at the nine of swords they also dream about you seven of cups they could be feeling very confused unsure about the separation and the nine of swords in reverse yeah they could be wondering if this was too like it could be you or this person yeah but something about was i too impulsive did I say the wrong thing? Should I have waited? Instead of like, because the Nada Swords is very fast. So something may have happened very fast that now they're doubting whether, <clears throat> was it too fast? Were they moving too fast or were you moving too fast? Okay. Let's pull out a few of these oracles. I remember every detail of that day, so they could be feeling sad with the way things turn out between the two of you, possibly that day when both of you broke up. I think that was, or separated, that was possibly the most painful, one of the most painful experiences in your life. And I've also got the, you were the best thing in my life. They could be feeling as though, hey, you know, see the empress and the judgment here again. You were probably the best thing in your life. They feel like ever since the separation, now they are understanding your value and your worth. They could be reminiscing about the 
good stuff that you have brought to this connection. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, so they've been thinking a lot about you. A lot of things have been reminded. It could be songs, it could be anything. Places. I love you, so they still love you. They still have feelings for you. I want to be more than friends. Some of you, maybe you have told them let's be friends, but for a lot of you, I see both of you not even friends anymore, okay? So I'm not too sure about this card, to be honest. For some of you, maybe it's a situation um, where maybe you wanted to be more than friends, they didn't want to, or they wanted to be more than friends and you didn't want to, <clears throat> okay? Could be a situation ship or open relationship. That's just for some of you. We need to let each other go. So they may be feeling like this is not working out right now. Maybe they're also protecting you. And because they may see you as the empress that you deserve some like you deserve better and perhaps they couldn't give you what you want. Or vice versa. They could be feeling as though you couldn't give them what what they want. Alright. But anyway, Leo Aries, Sagittarius is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel, f feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. Um, I don't show my face on this tarot, on my tarot channel, but I do show my face on my travel channel. If you want to check it out. I mean, on this channel, there's only one video that I posted in my face because that was like some promo video a long time ago when I first started this um, channel. But anyway, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. And also, I'm going to start, I've already started um, doing live streams, so I'm going to most likely do that again. So if you want to be notified, um, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.